Okay, <clears throat> let's do this. This week I didn't have any idea what kind of video to make, but fortunately the video came to me. When I turned on the PC, an uh, icon popped up into the screen to update the BIOS. And because I'm a good citizen, I updated the BIOS in the old-fashioned way. Basically, there are two options on how to update the BIOS on an Asus motherboard. The first option, and almost all the motherboards are updated like this, and the most popular one is to copy the update files to the USB drive, power down the PC, insert the USB drive into the BIOS flashback port, And then press the BIOS flashback button for about 3-5 seconds until the blue light starts to blink. And if everything is fine, after a minute or two, the blue light is supposed to go out. Bear in mind that if the blue light stays on all the time, this means that there is a problem and you should start everything all over again and detect the, pros detect the pros possible problems. Possible problems. I did all of that, but in my case, the blue light was on all the time, meaning that there is a problem. And I tried to format the USB and copy the files again, but nothing. In this case, I went for the second option to install the BIOS with the easy update. I don't know why I didn't try this in the first place, because it's easier and you can see the progress bar, just like installing a program. Just don't judge me. After it updated, the PC restarted and nothing. Now the PC was giving me the Q code 79 and the VGA LED was on and I couldn't even go into the BIOS. I tried to restart the PC a couple of times with the monitor plugged in or out and or with everything plugged out of the PC with different things changed but nothing. The solution in this case was to clear CMOS and pray to the all the gods. The gods of technology. Fortunately, this worked and when I looked into the BIOS, it didn't clear the settings for the CPU. So the CPU was still overclocked and the BIOS was updated from 802 to 805. And I think it's a win-win. After a bit of research, I found out that if you have problem with the BIOS, clearing CMOS could resolve almost all the problems. And if this doesn't work, at least you can... Uh, reset it to the factory settings and you can try it again thank you for watching if you like this video like it if you didn't dislike it and see you next time i mean you will see me i can't see you it's just a saying i mean the phrase is... i couldn't see because your hand